Hello everyone! In today's video, I'll show you how to set VLC Media Player as the default player on Windows 11. This simple method ensures that you can play all your video and audio files with VLC without manually selecting it each time. First, make sure that VLC Media Player is already installed on your computer. If you haven't installed it yet, check out our previous video tutorial to learn how to download and install VLC. Once installed, open the Start menu by clicking the Windows icon at the bottom left corner of your screen. Type Default Apps in the search bar and press Enter. The Default Apps Settings screen will appear. Here, type VLC into the second search bar and select VLC from the search results. A new window will open displaying a list of media file types. For each file type you want to open with VLC, click on it and select VLC Media Player as the default app. Another method is to go back to the default app settings screen. This time, in the first search bar, type the file extension of the media files you want to associate with VLC, for example, MP4. Then, assign VLC as the default player for that file type. These methods might feel a bit time-consuming, so here's a third option that might be more convenient for you. Instead of setting the default app up front, you can do it on the fly as needed. For example, if you want to open an MKV file that's currently set to open with the default Windows Media Player, follow these steps. Right-click on the MKV file, select Open With, and then choose VLC Media Player. If VLC isn't listed, click Choose Another App. If you still don't see VLC, scroll to the bottom and select Choose an app on your PC. Navigate to this PC, then the C drive, open the Program Files folder, go to Video LAN, then VLC, and select VLC.exe. Finally, click the Always button to set VLC as the default for MKV files. From now on, all MK files will open with VLC Media Player when you double-click them. You can apply the same process for other file types as needed. To explore more features like customizing the interface, using keyboard shortcuts, handling subtitles, and other cool tips, don't forget to check out the playlist I've linked in the description. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.